first of all, it's very important in baking, not like in cooking, to measure everything. So we're mixing white flour with 100% whole, whole wheat. wheat, that it won't be too hard. And I'm buying regular white flour and I'm using the gluten that it will be flour for bread. So in every kilo of flour, I'm using one tablespoon of gluten. And for every kilo, I'm putting two tablespoons of yeast. So here we have two kilos, so you put four tablespoons of yeast. Sugar, we're putting three tablespoons for every three, three and a half, you can also do it four, for kilo. every kilo. Four, five, six. Seven. Why aren't you counting <coughs> with us? Count till seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Salt. For every kilo, we're using one tablespoon. And it's very important that the salt won't touch the yeast. So I'm covering the yeast with the flour. And only then I'm adding the salt. We are mixing the dry ingredients. We are adding 520 milliliters of water for every kilogram of flour. We're adding also canola oil, half cup for every kilogram. We are adding one cup because it's two kilograms. After the ingredients combined, I let it work for 8 minutes. On a medium speed, high speed, depends on your machine. After the machine finished its work, I'm kneading it by hand for another 8 minutes. So this is the dough after the 8 minutes. It's still not enough, if you're asking me. You have to, to knead it more by hand uh, for eight minutes more. And only then you're letting it rise for 40 minutes, hour, something like that. So for the ones of you that are kneading and you're doing it with your rings, so it's very important before to wash your hands and also under the rings. And then you can also do wash the tilatia dime with your rings. So like that for eight minutes. I tried a lot of things and I think that the most important thing is to to knead the dough. the dough. So let the dough feel that you love him, that he will rise and will be good. We love and you tasty. Dough. Now you have to oil it a little bit just that it won't stick mm -hmm. 
now you have to cover it for 40 minutes to hour put it in a warm place or cover it with blankets or something that it will rise so now the doll rised after 40 minutes because it's hot today so it's rised very good and very fast now it's the time to do a frashat khala with bracha from one kilogram and six six hundred ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר גידשנו מצוותיו וציוונו להפריש חלה מן העיסה. אמן. הרי זו חלה. יהי רצון לפניך אדוני אלוהינו ולאבותינו שמצוות הפרשת חלה תחשב כאילו קיימתיה בכל פרטיה ודקדקיה בכוונותיה ותחשב הרמת חלה שאני מרימה כמו קורבן שוחרר למזבח ומתקלל ברצון החומה שלפנים. הוא חמו שבזמן בית המקדש היה קיים, הייתה חלן של הכהן, והייתה זו כפרת עוונות, כך תהיה לכפרה לעוונותיי, ואהיה כאילו נולדתי מחדש נקייה מחטא ועוון, ואוכל לקיים מצוות שבת קודש, והאם הטובים אם בא לי וילדינו להיות ניזונים מקדושת הימים האלה, ובזכות מצוות חלה, יהיו ילדינו ניזונים תמיד מאליו של הקדוש ברוך הוא ברוב אהבה. ושתתקבל מצוות חלה, כאילו נתתי מעשה, וחושבים שאני מקיימת מצוות חלה בכל ליבי, כך יתעוררו חם של הקדוש ברוך הוא, ישמרני מצרים ומחובים כל הימים, אמן כן יהי רצון. ומי ייתן מזכות מצוות הפרשת חלה זו, כל היולדות בעמך ישראל יזכו ללידה קלה, וכל מי שמחפש זיווג הגון, נמצא זיווג הגון. וכולנו נהיה בריאים גוף ונפש. Then you're taking the... פרשת חלה, and you have ought to burn it or to put it in two covers in the garbage. We are preparing the trays. before and putting also baking in pergamon paper and uh, moving forward so now you're taking part of the dough it depends on what size you want your khala to be Designing it like you want your halat look, if you want to do it regular or other shapes. And then every part, this is what I'm doing. So first of all you're opening every piece and then you're rolling it, right? Yes. Why are you doing it? It's putting more air in the chala and make it more, more fluffy. Then you can do that or whatever. I'm doing those ends, the ends like that, because I want certain shape. But if you are doing something just like that, so you don't have to do the ends like that. You have to just just roll it. The rest of the dough you have to cover that it won't dry.
so I divide it to three one two and the two middle one is like one then I'm taking the two middle ones and I'm crossing them and then I'm taking from the, from the opposite side and crossing that and then those two middles they are one and again you're crossing to the other side and you're taking the opposite side and cross it and then these two are together crossing then the opposite side crossing this way of designing the khala is making it to be more to, to go up the, the, the shape is taking everything up a regular braid coming out more flat I'm covering it with plastic bag because I found it the more most useful for this that, that purpose better not to move the one that started to rise because it's already started to rise and when you're touching it it's the, the air is going down so it's rather that if you put it in the place don't touch it although I did did it but try to touch it and to move it less that you can after 40 minutes when the khala rise I'm using a whole egg but everyone can use whatever it can be only the yolk or only the white egg no I think I'm using both and also you put a little bit of water right? very small amount yes And then I'm spreading sesame seeds. We're entering a halot to a preheat oven and with water in the bottom that will make steam in 108 180 Celsius. Celsius Amazing So now the halot are ready and perfect and ready to go We're blessing you all in Shabbat Shalom Please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world For more, please visit amuna.com